the last few years have put brands firmly in the spotlight. This unprecedented attention has come with its own set of challenges and some brands have risen to the occasion and set an example for the others. To celebrate the success of these go-getters, Marksman Daily presents the inaugural edition of Brand of the Year 2022, brought to you by Team Marksman. The event saw senior management of leading brands in attendance and proved to be a blend of inspirational addresses, insightful panel discussions and coveted awards to honour the standout brands. The event commenced with a welcome address by Rajesh Kupchandani, co-founder and CEO, Team Marksman. This evening, Team Marksman and Marks Marksman Daily bring together this initiative to salute brands which have stood out from their peers, who have ex done exceptionally well, who have gone out of their way to deliver consistently and meet customer expectations and clients' expectations. We have clients from the B2B, the B2C categories, clients who are doing uh, uh, work tremendously uh, in, rural, in rural areas, also in urban India. Brands which have stood out and outshine other brands. Brands which have taken our advocacy, like, you know, I, brands whom I can vouch for, I can suggest my colleagues, clients, or even my family, like, you know, for that matter. We have brands which have set example for all of us here. Actually, a lot of, uh, even global eyes are on the Indian market, but we have brands which are even homegrown and even international for that matter today with us. And will share with us their thoughts and on what goes behind making a brand a brand of the year. I'll leave the stage open for all our speakers today who will impart their wisdom and their knowledge on what goes behind making a brand successful and larger in life. Thank you so much. The first step, may I please invite Mayank Kumar, co-founder and managing director of Grad, to please come on stage. And if I may also invite Kaushik Mukherjee, co-founder, Sugar Cosmetics. The topic being the disruptor in this ecosystem. Uh, and you guys have been completely different entrant uh, in an industry which has been there for ages. Uh, how has this journey been and what different ways and means that you guys took to come to where you guys are at right now? When you start off building something, game changer is far away. You want to have game. You want to have, have space to play some game. When we started, I remember our insight was that um, makeup is being used by a younger audience, and uh, which means there was a need for products which could suit younger skin tones, younger skin types. A more long-lasting, matte, slightly drying formula may work. Six years of building the brand. I think one thing I've realized is in India, today's niche is tomorrow's big market. So we picked a niche, and because that niche grew with the market and our audience rewarded us with the love, uh, that's why we are here today. How, how was it for you? When we launched the business, everybody said that, look, you are doomed to fail. Pure online program, add two lakh rupees, 12 month long duration, demanding 500 hours from a learner. Uh, but I guess what you said rightly, that that created a niche. And today, that's one of the largest market in the education space. We started with that. We ignored the market which was existing, which was a short duration, short price. And I guess one of the challenges that I face today, when we have come to this place, is uh, you do get comfortable. The discussion for today is transforming brand strategies in the face of changing consumer expectations. And as we all know, business saw a seismic shift in customer expectations, attitudes, and trends during the last two years. Business and brands must look beyond their own industry to understand the benchmarks they're being evaluated against. What are some interesting nuances that you found about consumer behavior that stuck in your mind? So we don't buy into brands which are for needs, but we buy into brands which are more responsible. And you are seeing a lot of green initiatives and guilt initiatives which are getting launched. So in terms of brands, I think it's, it's more and more going towards more responsible brands, and that's the order of the day. And uh, we need to fast track this. When it comes to cementing brand loyalty, are there any must-dos or any innovative strategies that can be pursued? When we say Pele Indian Fair Oil, is for us is the true brand strategy. I mean, uh, branding is not about product advertising. That's something that clinically we do. But I think organization, it's purpose driven. Today as a company, we focus on everything which can contribute to the environment. Is there anything experimental out there that could revolutionize the customer experience on ground or virtually? Today as we speak, there is this whole virtual world which is 
coming up. The rules that they apply in, in a virtual world today, okay, is, are the same, exact same rules what you see in a physical world. There would be a shift in terms of investors in probably the virtual world because they are making 1,000% returns. Behind this whole uh, dramatic, ridiculous ideas, there is somebody who will always push the envelope and get you something different and that is where all these innovations will lie. How can brands strengthen their brand propositions? I think in today's world as a brand, uh, everyone is fighting for consumers' time. It is important to provide value, not just from what you're providing in terms of your product, but I think in terms of UI, UX, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, pain points. Your views on the mistakes of using social media and how can we use it to be effective? I think one of the uh, things that brands do, right, uh, is essentially apply the same strategy for all social media channels, right? So each social media channel is very different. Audiences on these platforms are also very different, right? Today, consumers want customization. We've talked about some important themes in consumer sentiment and behavior. Now, what are the biggest takeaways for companies? The idea is not to get too fixated with what your identity is you have to ensure that you evolve with time. I think that was so beautifully said. Thank you. Thank you, all our panelists. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us the august presence of none other than the fantastic, the beautiful Neha Dhupia. Please put your hands together. Creating a brand or running a brand in the past few years or maybe four years, give or take, has been actually the hardest thing that all of us are going through. I think struggling to stay alive, struggling to, um, you know, keep it going as a brand has, has, has been extremely hard. As a brand, like you said, staying relevant is something that we work towards literally every day, but nobody ever worked towards working through a pandemic. What I hear from everyone at Team Marksman is that everybody here in this room has done exceptionally well over the past few years in these tough times as well. So most importantly, give yourselves a huge round of applause. Thank you very much for being here. So congratulations in advance, and I look forward to this. I'm going to invite Akash Tiwari to please join Neha Dhupi on the stage as well. We have with us Akash Tiwari, the co-founder, chief strategy officer, Team Marksman. And on that note, it's finally the time to get the felicitation started. We'll bring in that energy and let's hear it for the very first brand for the evening that's being felicitated here as Brand of the Year 2022. <laughs> time to invite on stage Blue Dot Express Limited. Reliability, responsiveness, and resilience are the terms that essentially define our strategy from supporting the government of India's Lifeline Udan initiative, leveraging the power of technology to enhance customer experience, providing safety measures during the pandemic with our contactless delivery, etc., have all been a strength of our strategy. The strategy of employer of choice provider of choice and investment of choice has allowed the business to sustain with engaged employees customer centricity which thereby generated stakeholder value so in spite or irrespective of a crisis our strategy brings out the best in us going forward too as the nation's trade facilitator immersion in digitization automation and future technologies will be our vision blue dots strategy is radically simple as an insanely customer-centric approach we continue to keep the customer at the center of everything we do in a highly competitive environment our customer centricity is the key differentiator as we always curate exemplary experiences for our customers, which are reliable and efficient. Hence the catchphrase, if it's important, blue dot it. As a trusted brand amongst customers and a provider and investment of choice for all our stakeholders, we are focused on future-ready tech-led solutions 
to deliver exceptional service quality. Ladies and gentlemen, the next brand that's being felicitated this evening, let's hear it for D Decor. Dideco is always striving to get the latest trends worldwide in the home fashion space for the ever-evolving Indian consumer constantly. Every year, we are releasing around about 5,000 SKUs having the latest fashion trends. We are setting up robotic warehouses all over the country, region-wise, so that the customer gets very quick deliveries and a seamless D-Deco buying experience. Even in our product categories, we are adding categories. And in the existing categories, always trying to expand the range aggressively, getting the latest in home fashion at the best value proposition possible. There has been an increase in consumer demand in recent times for dressing up their homes. We've expanded our capacities and we've also ensured that we launch a range of performance fabrics which align with the consumer's need for a more maintenance-free product. We've made our launches around the year rather than only during the festive season. We've taken an expansion on the Indian-inspired designs, which are inspired by Indian heritage, and we've continued to increase the ex expansion of our textures and our sustainable range. The dealers have been given a digital platform and e-catalogs, which help consumers visualize and make their selection decisions in a better manner to choose the products that they would like for the look that they want for their home. We'd now like to invite the next brand, ladies and gentlemen, Reliance Jewels, Reliance Retail Limited. In a jewelry business, relatively speaking, involvement of consumers is much higher. Keeping this in mind, Reliance Jewels has been building on a foundation that has been supported by three strong pillars design, quality, and value for money. While we offer exceptional design with an uncompromising quality, value for money comes as a pleasant surprise to our customers. Our focus is to explore all four channels, standalone showrooms, shopping shop, e-commerce, and corporate sales. We smoothly integrate them for the convenience of our customers. Now, as I invite the next brand, we need to have a mazboot round of applause because we're talking about JK Lakshmi Cement. Next brand that's the recipient of Brand of the Year 2022 is Pune's Creative Living Campus and India's first and largest destination in home and interiors. Please put your hands together for Creativity Mall. Brands, I guess, have to be far more uh, authentic, far more genuine and far more relatable. I think that's uh, our single biggest uh, learning over the journey over the last few years, especially as a brand that connects with its customers in their entire homemaking journey. It's all about being transparent and therefore building trust. That's important as a brand. Being genuine and authentic is very, very important. What we have observed with customers is that we are able to engage better with them and also uh, have better conversions if we are able to relate to them better. And the only way that we can relate to them is being very clear about the context the content and the communication. As long as we keep doing this, I believe that brands will be able to uh, build loyalty 
in fact it's not customers who need to build loyalty with the brands it's brands who need to build loyalty with the customers and as they build a loyalty with customers i think the repeat value the repeat purchase etc happen and we as a brand because we are into home making it's all about again and again the customers have to come back for doing their living room their bedroom their dining room and kitchens so it's about building enduring relationships we now like to invite uh, sani heavy industry india private limited to please come on stage For us at Sani, customer engagement and experience is the most important aspect of building a brand image. The quality of our product speaks for itself. The product innovation, the product quality, the service quality, and the overall life cycle experience is what promotes the brand of Sani within its customers. Innovative products with high speed to the market with. differential experiences for services backup coupled with it enablers across the value chain of the customers is one of the key distinctive features of sani this has brought sani a very high brand recognition amongst not only the direct customers but project owners and large size corporations they can go anywhere in the world derive similar benefits derive similar products similar services similar innovations with it enablements all across and that is what derives the customer experience across the world for sani group sani has also participated in many social activities not only limited to its direct area of operations but has also contributed immensely during the covid outbreak across the country let's march ahead and invite the next brand innovity payment solutions understanding the insights of the consumer uh crafting the right solution and um, keep it evolving is what helps in uh creating the brand love factor that helps with a uh, sustained consumer retention so innovatee's collaborative commerce platform helps in keeping the consumers at the core of the platform and delivers value to the brand banks and merchants keeping uh, the value for the end consumer at one third of the cost Can we have the loudest round of applause for Vaman Hari Pete Sons? For us, it's been very clear. Every single decision that is made in the corporation is in line with our uncompromising values. Every single day we've operated, we've strived for uncompromising quality and transparency for our client. Uh, every single day we have strived. to give excellent service and that has bettered our brand every single time we have kept our traditions and our roots in mind and also implemented innovation and creativity and that has bettered our brand you do this for 113 years over various locations in maharashtra and ultimately you end up in a situation that is uh, something quite special right today uh, very commonly we see three generations of the same family entering our showroom doors at the same time to buy jewelry from us you know this is this mutual loyalty that we have towards them and they have towards us that we've always strived for and we'll always continue working towards and ladies and gentlemen the next brand that's being felicitated is a group that has a strong culture and values that stems from its heritage of more than 133 years please put your hands together for dcm shri ram limited we are deeply honored to be recognized as brand of the year it is a reflection of the trust that our stakeholders have in us be it our customers vendors or employees we have a strong heritage of more than 132 years and have built the brand on the values and beliefs laid down by our founder sir shriram today the brand dcm shriram limited has an all india presence through its businesses in the agri rural and chlorovenile verticals touching lives of people both in rural and urban india 
We are proud to be a part of the India growth story and are committed to strongly focus on ESG, that is environment, society and governance. We strongly believe in giving back to society. This recognition further strengthens our resolve to keep on growing with trust. We'd now like to invite Raj Petro, a Brentag Group company, to please come on stage. I'm honored and pleased to accept the Brand of the Year 2022 award on behalf of the entire team at Raj Petro Specialties. Raj Petro, as part of the Brentag Group, is on a wonderful journey, not just over the last few years, but over the last eight decades. As an organization, we have built successful, sustainable business, created high-quality products that add value to over a dozen high-growth industries. We are an ambitious, passionate team and have an enviable credibility amongst our customers and are well-recognized for our innovative abilities. This award is a testimony to the efforts of the entire Raj Petro Brentag team. This recognition provides an added impetus to our ambitions and we'll encourage our teams to perform above and beyond to achieve the next milestone. Every day forward, our belief system articulates our brand's meaning and purpose and our collective ambition to be a globally admired, successful brand. An acknowledgement by Marksman Daily's Brand of the Year 2022, brought to you by Team Marksman, gave further impetus to the brands in their journey. As we come to a close of episode 1 of the event, do stay tuned for episode 2 where the awards and felicitation will continue.